next event on the track. It is getting a little bit congested in this finish line space, but we will make sure it all works. This is the first of three marks. time finals for under 10 boys, 400 metres. There, not the type of things we like to see in a 400 is false starts. Lane six unsteady. Okay, they're away nice and clean this time. Lane one, Nicholas from Warnerball. Two, Christian from Mentone. Four, Noah from Knox. Five, Brody from Cranbourne. Six, Gianluca from South Melbourne. Seven, Gabrielle from Keelor. So make their way around the back straight. There is a little bit of a gap in between the group where there are vacant lanes, but it is the Knox athlete running very strong at the moment. That's Noah from Knox. Gabrielle from Keelor out there in lane eight is also running very strong at the moment. Do suspect that Gianluca from South Melbourne will finish strong. And we'll see how he goes from that stagger. That's our waterball athlete coming past the camera there. But as they move out of the stagger now, the Mentone athlete from lane two, he's running really well at the moment. He should come around strong between the stagger, between he and Noah. But Noah will have just a tiny lead as they come in with 100 metres to go. He is trying his heart out at the moment to get down there without anyone catching him. He does look like he might hold off right now. Nice strong finish by, Gian, by Gabriel from Keelor and also the athlete from Cranbourne in Brody. Brody's going to take second. Mentone third, Keelor fourth, Gian Luca from South Melbourne in sixth. And Nicholas from Warnable mate rounding up the field in that first of three time finals for the under 10 boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 